What up guys, it's your boy HD, and today I'm going to be telling you how I chose my major and how to choose a major. Stay tuned. Alright man, appreciate you for coming back to the channel man. This will be episode 2, and uh, Tech Chatter, I appreciate all the love on the first video. And if you're here, that means you want to know more about IT, information security, resume tips, you first and foremost. Please make sure you're going to hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell icon so you'll be notified when I'm dropping new content. Now, let's talk about why you guys clicked on the video. So, let's wrap everything back to circa 2010. So, in high school, I took wood shop and I took welding. I love both of the classes. And those classes for whatever reason made me believe that i wanted to be an architect so all my applications that i filled out for college prior to going in the fall of 2010 was to be in the architecture program and i was close to going to some different colleges for architecture but i ended up going to la tech because it was closer i didn't have no car i was like if i ever need to get back home fast that's a 45 minute hours to 45 minute drive it's, it's nothing i could find somebody to bring me home but if i would have went somewhere else that was four to five hours away tough luck tough cookie so i get the tech i'm in pre-architecture for my first quarter tech is on the quarter system which is perfect it's way better than being in a semester system because you can graduate faster and in case you don't like your major you don't have to wait i forgot how long a semester is but that's a super long time to wait so I don't really take any classes that necessarily in architecture that first quarter. I get to go to Hale Hall. Hale Hall is like the architecture building. You see all the students there. And I started seeing like kids where they're sleeping and all these projects. And I saw how intricate architecture was. And I'm not that intricate of a person. And all these guys can draw. And hey, I know you have to take these drafting classes and this and that. And in my mind, I was like, Hell no, till the no, 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 hell till the no. Mm, I don't know. I don't know if that's going to work for me. And I also looked at like kind of what a starting salary would be for architect. And at that time, it wasn't a lot to my liking if I was going to spend four years in school for this. And when it came time for me to be advised for my advisor for, for the first quarter, I was like, hey, I'm, I'm not feeling, I'm not feeling doing architecture. I want to change my major. And listen, guys, if you do want to change your major, change it probably within the first year. Don't waste too much time while you didn't took a lot of classes related to your major. You decided, oh, in year three you want to change your major and it pushed you back two years. You wasted money. So I know it's a lot to ask out of an 18 year old what they want to do when they grow up because it is it's a tough decision. But try to do some research on what you want to do and maybe talk to some people that do what you want to do to help you make that decision. Now, moving forward. I go to the College of Business. Well, what the advisor asked me, like, you know, what else are you interested in? So I brought up computers. I brought up how, like, I play video games. I always like doing stuff on a computer. And I think a little bit um, in a, what was it, high school, I added like some USB ports or something to like uh, my home computer at the house. So I was like, you know, I might be good at that. And I also remember something funny I did to uh, my friend Treasure. Shout out Treasure if you do watch this. And in my senior year, I saw a part of Treasure's password and I needed to get her email address. So I just texted her at school. I said, hey, what's your email address? And she told me, oh, actually I saw her password to Facebook. And so that night I logged into Trader's Facebook and I made a post about who she should take to, uh, I think it was a senior, se the senior pet rally or something like that, who should walk her out or some crap like that. I think that's what it was. And it was hilarious. And everybody knew it me, but I, at the time I didn't know what I had did it was called social engineering, but that'll be another video. But that situation let me know that I wanted to do something that was going to be kind of related to computers. 
go to the College of Business, I look around, and I see they have this major called Computer Information Systems. Now, I don't know really about this major, but I look at the curriculum, I look at the classes, and uh, a couple of my friends were already in it. I had a friend that I had met that first quarter. Uh, shout out to Judy. Judy was in that major at the time. Uh, Chris Carr. I mean, I'm sorry. Oh, I butchered your name, Kim. I'm sorry. Kim Carr was also a major in that as well. It was like two people I knew already that was major in that. If I forgot your name, my bad. I, I just known him the longest. Anyways, so I walked around and I saw this uh, sheet. I posted this sheet. I think the sheet I'm posting right now is similar to what I saw in the College, college of Business in 2010. And it basically was like putting salaries out there for these particular IT jobs or jobs you could hold potentially in IT. And I saw that, and I was like, hmm, interesting. And, and these are some six-figure jobs that don't take all the studying of some of the other majors. And so that led me to do that. And, and computer information systems, uh, the classes we had to take was, unfortunately, kind of useless because we took a programming class that was with a language that nobody uses. But a programming, two programming classes. We took a database class, forensics class, and I can't think of what else we took. But all those classes were put in a curriculum to kind of give you a taste of what you could potentially do in IT or whatever type of role you get. And that was like a huge help. I want to say those classes along with my capstone, which was a system analysis and design class, was pretty cool. Like in this particular class, we were a system analyst, and we had to invent whatever type of system or some type of app, some infrastructure for like a business. And we had to had to be real detailed. We had to code what we were doing and present it, and it was cool. At that time, I wanted to go into kind of want to go to system analyst route, but this was before I got my Sec Plus, so. Because before that class, I did take the forensics class. So I did like forensics. But this was before I got the SIC Plus. Once I got the SIC Plus, I was like, no, nah, I want to go security route. But within also making computer information systems my major, I also was able to get my first IT related uh, work study job. And I got hired by uh, Mr. Daryl Eddy. I believe, hopefully, he's still at tech. But at the time when I was at tech, he was like over all the IT for the college of business. And he ran everything. And the crazy thing is, uh, like I said, I didn't know a lot of people with these major, especially people that look like us or me. He was a black guy. Uh, Mr. Eddie was a black guy, and, and all these professors and everybody depended on him, especially to have everything up around. I'm talking about from the network uh, infrastructure. He designed all that to the computers, to the smart systems, to everything that they had in their classrooms. He was, he was responsible for all that being there. And that was super cool to me because I saw somebody and leadership with a big position right there that, that was black and that let me know hey i can pretty much i wasn't trying to aim for what he was doing but i could do something similar to this one day so this major had helped me see that and realize a lot of potential in the field that i didn't i necessarily didn't know about and let me tell you why i decided to, to pick these so number one i was looking at a trending field as we know, everything is going to the cloud now. Uh, pretty much all these apps on our phone. We can do so much on the phone. It's less paperwork and everything else than that. And who you guys think they need to do that? People in IT. IT, security, networking, all those different type of people. They all rap like this. They needed us. And pretty much you'll have a job. I'm saying you always have a job. But for the most part, your job outlook is pretty bright because they're dependent on you. It, it used to not be something that people really cared about as much but over the years from 2010 to now how big it budgets and stuff have come a long way so that major was trending number two i looked at supply and demand the demand for it was on the up and up but good salaries that didn't take a long time like even you know being entry level somewhere if you got a decent a certain type of it job you was going to make some good bread and you didn't have to be either super technical or have X amount of years experience, you were good with that. And also flexibility. I also knew I always wanted a job that was gonna possibly allow me to work from home. And you know, 
hindsight, they always say it's 2020, and I'm not even in hindsight right now, but in the this pandemic, and I have a position that I don't have to interact with anybody. I can work straight from home. I work straight from here every day. I don't have to worry about seeing people. I don't have to worry about, I mean, unless I choose to put myself in harm's way, I don't have to worry about getting sick because I'm at home. I'm not dealing with all that. So those were things that I looked at. Oh, I also looked at return on investment. Uh, when I graduated from tech, I did not have a lot of student loan debt at all on top of having being in a career field that was going to keep on propelling me upwards. And so that's what I call a great return on investment. Sometimes you get these people, and it's no knock to these majors because these majors are great, but when it comes to getting paid, those other majors, uh, they aren't they aren't useful. Like, I don't, I, didn't, I didn't even research them, but you guys know we have seen some people with some BS majors in college, and you like, you don't want to be that person. Like, why are you majoring in that? It's not making no money. And everything, not about money, but at the end of the day, if you're going to spend all this money in college, you need to make some money. In today's time, you technically only got to go to college because everything is accessible with a click of a button and you can learn how to do that stuff on your own. So if you're one of these people that are trying to look for one of these majors that's possibly not in demand and not making a lot of money looking at the salary, these type of salaries where you might have to get a master's and they only trying to pay you 17, 18 bucks an hour. Stop it. Nah, don't, don't do that major. You could possibly do whatever you're trying to do on your own. Pick something else that's going to pay your bills, that's going to give you the flexibility to do your dream or whatever you want to do. Like this job right here, if, if I want to get into something else or do something else, it'll give me the flexibility to have my bills paid and the food on the table until I get to a position where I can leave it if I want to. So that's that's very key right there. A lot of people don't do that. They just, I mean, it works with some people, they jump right in, but you know, they're struggling. Some people can ease their way on and finally be cool, or you can do both. You got plenty of people with a nine to five and successful side businesses that either rival what they make at a nine to five or more. And a lot of people just keep this nine to five because they get benefits. 401k, they get, um, you know, it's saying if you didn't want to work on your side business, you take your PTO, get your family on your insurance. So it's a lot of reasons why people keep jobs. But say all that, that's the one, that was the reason why I chose to go into computer information systems. I think so far as I mean it's telling like I said I finished in 2013 and like I said I've, I've been on the up from when I went to Shreveport to now I'll tell you guys also technically this video was only supposed to be about like why I chose my major and what not to do when you're trying to choose a major but I'll tell you straight up uh, if you guys are in the Shreveport Bossier area you possibly will have to leave to get paid because that area doesn't value your job like other areas do. and it's okay don't feel bad for leaving if you have to leave you know i was able to double my salary within like a year once i left from shreveport bozier easily and that's not to say i got all this money and that that's to let you guys know that there's money out there and you can take care of your family take care of you can take care of without the extra BS of feeling undervalued. That's one of the main things that sucks in this industry. If you got a position, you like the job and stuff like that, but the company undervalues you, don't do it. Uh, get your experience on and, and, and move away. You can always come back if the opportunity presents itself, but don't sit there and struggle just for convenience or because you're scared to move. Don't be scared. So we can, we can make mistakes, you know what I'm saying? shoot for the planets and then what you'll be amongst the stars or the clouds something like that i don't know <laughs> i don't know what that quote said but uh yeah man i to just wrap it up i chose computer information systems because i knew it was a great climate still a great climate for it um trending making good money making a good living a career i can go work anywhere I, and i mean anywhere i can go make money at but you guys let me know if you have any questions about or a major you think about going into or you think about getting into my major or something like it hit me up in uh, my comments hit me up on linkedin i got my facebook page now uh, instagram uh tech chatter page hit me up on all that uh, i'll be sure to respond i appreciate you if you made it this far 
Go ahead and make sure you share this on your social media. Hit that thumb up button. Hit that bell icon. And comment. It's your boy HG. I'm out.